go back to the to the war in Afghanistan and the war in Iraq, one of the things that was going on, and I'm, you know, we we uh, um, uh, we invaded Iraq uh, in 2003. Uh, from that point until around 2007, the uh, U.S. was taking a lot of ca casualties from uh, what was called IEDs or um, improvised explosive devices. Uh, we were taking a lot of casualties. Our up armored Humvees. Uh, even though they were up armor and just our soft skin vehicles, there were no match for uh, these IEDs, and we were losing a lot of soldiers uh, and Marines uh, to those uh, to those bombs, roadside bombs, and those kinds of things. Uh, so th the force needed some up, something else to protect them, um, uh, and and so in 2007, the Secretary of Defense made a commitment. To, to start the deploying, developing and deploying uh, mine resistance uh, armor protection devices or MRAPs uh, and putting those in the field so we can protect our soldiers and, and allow people to come home. The criticality of getting these vehicles on the battlefield in sufficient quantities to make a difference was really stressing uh, industry at the time. And so the industry was at, at the same time they were trying to produce MRAPs to put on the field the configurations of the MRAPs they were making were changing, even as they were coming down the, down the production line. And from a logistician point of view, which is where Land and Maritime and DLA came in, we were now having to uh, buy parts in support of systems that were, even before we bought the parts, were becoming obsolete because they had been superseded by some other variation. Um, so, uh, our challenge was to get the right tech data, to get in with the suppliers, to make sure we got ahead of the curve, uh, to buy the right things at the right time, to get it in the hands of our soldiers and Marines uh, so that we could protect their life. It didn't do any good to put an MRAP in the field and it doesn't run or it doesn't have the parts to sustain it. Uh, it just becomes a, um, becomes a stationary peel box, right? So, we had to get that, we had to solve that logistics problem. Um, and my role was, was trying to help facilitate that process. We had a lot of great folks, we had a lot of technical people uh, from, our, uh, from our engineering standpoint. We had the, the buying activities, both in the Marines and the Army. Uh, and then we worked very closely, uh, very closely uh, with the suppliers. And we had a variety of suppliers. Or, or, around the United States who were struggling, quite frankly, to, 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 to meet the demand for the vehicles and then meet the demand for changing threat and then meet demand for the logistics. And so it took a lot of work and effort. Um, uh, around here it was MRAP in the morning and it was MRAP at night and uh, MRAP in between because we were, we were constantly trying to figure out, and, and, and I used to call it looking around the corner to see what was coming on at us so we could be in a better position and a better posture to support uh, the, the, the field.